Hey YouTube, Shukun Shobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Tamashi Web Exclusive Shinken Blue. So, uh, the package is very much like Shinken Red and Shinken Gold before him. However, done in a blue color, obviously, because he's Shinken Blue. A uh, picture of the toy right here being all... Being all normal, and... Shinken Blue here, Shinken Blue, Shinken logo, Tamashi Collectors, Bandai Shop, whatever. Uh, the the unfortunate thing is that this is not done in a nice uh, chrome, so that is a bit of a letdown in my opinion. But um, especially considering it was exclusive. But Samurai Sentai Shinken Shinken Blue, Shinken Blue here, Ryunosuke Ikenami right there. So really, really all around awesome. Back here you've got Shinken Blue, yada 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 yada. Really awesome this stuff. Really the only pose you could ever have him in. And uh, that's really about it. So set this side back here and take a look at the figure itself. So uh, he looks pretty nice. Um, his helmet design is funny. All the Shinkenders are in their own way. Uh, with the water kanji going on here, taking up all of his helmet. It looks really weird in a figure art form. I don't know why, but uh, the, the, the kanji logos just look really strange once you get them on a figure. But um, anyway, the, the suit's done really well. Um, just like Shinken Red, he has a little bit problems with the plastic matching right here in the shoulders. Uh, it looks perfectly fine on my camera, but um, I don't know how it'll show up in the final product once I color correct, but... Uh, in person, it's a little bit darker, but it really isn't as noticeable from far away as Shinken Red is. So, um, that's a plus. We got the Shiba logo right there. It looks a little bit fat, but that's okay. Uh, the Shoto phone holder, the holster for the sh uh, Shinken Maru, and all of that fun stuff. So, really all around great figure. Um, articulation is fine as always. Um, people that are worried about breaking him, don't worry about breaking him. You're not going to unless you horse around with it. It does make some weird cracky noises, but that's just the way the joints are on this guy. Uh, they are really strange, and I'm glad they're correcting them for the Gokaiju releases. But, uh, these are some pretty effed up shoulders, in my opinion. But they were, they were experimenting with how to get, like, flat spandex-looking thing, I think. It's not spandex, it's bio-whatever stuff, so... Anyway, uh, here is Rinosuke and or Kevin if you're a Samurai fan. Either way, it's the same character. So, uh, accessory-wise, he comes with quite a bit of junk. Uh, by good junk, I mean. Not not bad junk. But Of course, he comes with uh, the Shinken Maru. And uh, just like the uh, Shinken Rad, it can just slot right into the holster right here. Just like that, which is always a, a fun time. So that can stay in there. I'm going to pop that out since I'm going to be using the water arrow. Just like that. Set him back here. The disc is removable. However, uh, just like Shinken Red, the disc on his weapon is bigger and does not fit on the Shinken Maru. Might as well go on to the water arrow since I just showed it. Uh, water arrow is nicely done. All the gold trimming and stuff through here. And the silver is absolutely perfect. And then you have the disc, which does pop off if I can get it there we go which does pop off has the uh, has the dragon on it and everything which looks really nice and then this uh, just like the Kuga Pegasus weapon uh, pulls out to act like he's drawing the bow so really really nice they did a great job on this just like they did the Rekodizanto obviously he comes with his Shoto phone you know phone and stuff the uh, the dragon, good old dragon, Leo Origami. He's all he can't bend at all, but his head, his little head moves. So that's fun. Head. Tail doesn't move at all. And you can see the the Shinkano helmet in there too. Really nice. Uh, Leo Origami in emblem mode. And then a buttload of hands. He comes with 11 hands, which is a lot. Lot of hands. So I honestly don't know what half of these are for. 
Uh, I will, however, instead of showing all the hands, since it'll be hard to pick them all up, I will show this piece of the instruction book. So, as you can see, it comes with the punchy hands, which are one. You've got some, like, sort of a splayed open hands for two. Three is the Shoto phone hand. Four is the emblem mode hand for Ryo Origami. Five is a splayed open molester hand. Six is the Shinken Maru holding hand. Seven is just this this two finger pointy hand for his pose. And then on the other side, one and two are the water arrow hands. I don't know why there's two different water arrow holding hands. And they're both on the same hand, but whatever. Three is this like flat out hand. It's uh is it this one? No, it's this one, right here, again for his pose. Uh, four is a kind of karate chop-esque hand. Again, probably for a pose. Then five is the same sort of cupped hand. And then six is the fist. So, you can see all of those right there. Those are all of his hands. And it's really hard to tell which is which. But anyway, um... Yeah, tons of poses you can do, so I recommend you check out uh, the photo gallery I link to in the bottom. Uh, brought to you by Shishio. And uh, he does absolutely amazing photo galleries. So, yeah, uh, check those out to see some more poses. I'm going to put him in a water arrow pose. So, um, I'm going to take a moment and try to figure out what the hell hands I have to use in order to get this to look right. Okay, so you can use either of these two hands with the water arrow. Um, this one has him on a slight curve, so if you want to have it like a facing up direction, then you want to use this one. A straight direction, you would want to use this one, so I'm probably going to have him pointing slightly up, just because that's cool, so. Pop this hand out. Pop this one with the water arrow. Aw, oh, fail. Uh, fail again. There we go. So just like that. And then you want this one reaching around. So this one, you want this hand with the the grip. I think it's the Shinken Maru holding hand. But it will serve multiple purposes here. Just like that. And something, something along the lines of that. Get him in a fairly decent archer stance. Make sure it doesn't tip over. And uh, there we go. Something pretty neato like that. So, there is Shinkan Brew. So, getting in close to here. He is a really fantastic release. Um, I really like the Sentai figure art so far. We, this is our third one. We've had Shinken Red and Shinken Gold. So this is absolutely fantastic. Um, these are very reminiscent of the Bandai uh, five inch figures except done remarkably well because they're figure arts. So I think this is just an absolutely great representation of, of uh, Shinken Blue. And uh, if you're a fan of Shinkendra I highly recommend all of these figures. Uh, they're just absolutely terrific. Even if you're a fan of Samurai, um, I'd recommend trying to pick these up. I know uh, Bluefin Distribution is uh, releasing figure arts here in the U.S. And um, they're trying to bring these over. In fact, I think they were selling Shinken Red at uh, Comic Con or something. So, uh, definitely recommend trying to hunt this guy down if you're a fan. Uh, even if you aren't, I highly recommend getting the Shinkenders just because they are absolutely remarkable figures. 
So, definitely, definitely recommended. You can check out a written review at RiderTransRambles.com, bringing you, you, bringing you the latest token news in the creative way possible. And of course, you can check out a written review at RiderTransRambles.com, bringing you the latest token news in the craziest way possible. So, take care. Have a great one. Bye.